What's up everybody? Troy Kearns bringing it to you from Stone County, Mississippi. My third flip this year in Stone County, Mississippi. So we are, what, about an hour and a half north of... About an hour, hour and a half. Hour and a half north of Biloxi, Mississippi. We found this property, which is on how many acres? Two acres, possibly 12. Possibly 12. We might get a free 10 if we do a survey we might get and find a free out. 10. So looks like these guys got stuck out here too. Mm -hmm. Are we in a rural area? We are in quite the rural area. <laughs> Okay, so one thing we could talk about right now real quick is if you're in a rural area, if you're in an area where it's rural and there's cows and they've got big pieces of land, you probably qualify for USDA financing. USDA financing means that you could buy a property like this for zero dollars down because the United States Department of Agriculture wants to develop rural areas, okay? So that's one little piece of uh, information about this property. We're surrounded by manufactured homes. Is this a manufactured home? This is not. This is not a, are you sure? I'm positive. Kind of looks like it. Stop with me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so are we on a well here? We are on a well. Does it work? It works. It works. Okay. So the most expensive thing is going to be getting somebody up here for a well, yep. right? Because there's nobody around here, right? So do you hear anybody around here? Do you hear any cars? Not a. Do you hear anything? Do you hear anything, Nick? An airplane. Uh-uh. They don't fly over this. This is all. So, okay, one cool thing about this property, you said we are surrounded by public land. So let's just pull that up real quick on Google Earth so we can show, well, <laughs> one thing about rural areas is you have no bars on your phone. Zero bars out here. Zero bars. So Download your listening before you leave. Yeah, so as you can say, Google Earth is just going to time out. So one nice thing about rural areas is you don't got to worry about cell phones. You just get a landline and nobody's going to bother you. Nobody's going to ping you. Yep. HughesNet, I think it's the big place out here. HughesNet. All right, let's, are you even locking the door up here? I'm not. Why not? There's nobody here. Nobody's going to break in. Now, in Mississippi, can you you piss off your porch you can Does anybody give you a hard time about it not one person all right so you guys rebuilt this deck rebuilt the front porch oh somebody did lock it luckily they turned the doorknob the wrong way okay good how was this house when we bought it when we bought it it was structurally nice oh one of the positives was that behind the panel and they already had sheetrock up the downside of it was the roach on the sheetrock was pretty damn thick so it's so say that part again roach ranch Roaches poop? Roaches do poop. They like being behind the panel and they didn't disguise themselves in this house because of the probably tenant was not that attentive to how many critters he had with him. Usually they go in the attic or out of the house. These guys just stayed in here with the fella. It looked like he was petting them, feeding them. Some of them had leashes when we pulled the wall down. Some of them had little collars on them. Okay, cool. So what kind of texture is this? This is really nice. This is just a basic orange peel. Basic orange peel. And blends, this... blends in with the turds across the wall, so they blend it. No, we cleaned so, it off. So we have actual turds in the wall, and that's not an upsell. No, I'm That's kidding. not an upsell. <laughs> so, okay, so we've got our same flooring. This looks like the same flooring that was in the last part. Ooh, man, did I approve these cabinets? These are nice, huh? Same ones as the other house. Sean, right? Yep. Core Concepts is the name of yep. his company. So what did this total kitchen cost us in countertops? This one run us about 2,000 for the cabinets, countertops for three tops. We're going to run about 1,500. Will our lady come up here and do it for our us? Our lady's going to come and cut them and put them in the next day or two. Do you think it was our first flip she'd do it for us? Our first flip, she'd do it for us all the way out here? No. No, because we've got a good relationship with her. She knows we're going to pay. She knows. We're not gonna cause any problems, so she's yep. just gonna do it for us. So we're you're pretty much close to the finish line over here, huh? Yep, we're almost there. So what do we got here? A little washroom. A little washroom. And this is our uh, super expensive hardwood-ish floors. Mm -hmm. How much was this hardwood floor? Ninety-nine cent. Was this U.S. made? U.S. made. Yep. No. <laughs> So we got nice new counters. We've got uh, best selling feature of this house is probably what we're looking at right here. We're on the deck. You got your old well right here, AC unit. How many square feet is this? Did you measure it already? It's just under 1,500. Just under 1,500. What do you got back there? This is like a chicken coop? No, just an extra little garage he had built out there. Right. There was two sheds out here. We went ahead and tore down two of the sheds. He worked in burying them into the yard so we didn't have to demolish them, leave trash in the yard pay for somebody to come home away with this much land you just scrape you out a hole and bury your trash in 
there. So let's let's bring that interesting concept. So who came out here and cleared the land for us? We've got a local guy that we started with a pretty funny story, long story, yeah. but he owned a part of land beside one of our first new builds here. And then uh, we had a problem with, he built a shed on the property that we owned. And when we had it surveyed, he didn't want to give up the sheds. He didn't want to move the sheds. We didn't really care about the land that he had. So we worked out a deal with him to do some of the dirt work for the new build. So we didn't come out in any pocket on that. And then since then, he's been our go-to guy for big equipment. So um, we turned a negative into a positive. It was a situation where we had some land that he had built his stuff on. We pulled our survey on it. We let him know about it. We didn't have anything. We went and knocked on his door, ended up meeting him. He had a Corvette. He's a collector, super nice guy. And he was like, listen, I want to make this right. I want to figure this out at working situation. He turned a negative into a positive, really. We, he's been our go-to guy. Uh, how much do we pay him on this job? I think 2700 2700 And then how much do we pay him on the last job, 53 Creek Bank? We paid around $11,000 to clear out a lot of stuff. And we had a mountain of trash to bury there. Let's go check out. Oh, we can't walk down this. Well, we can. Yeah, there's enough there. So let's go check out this nice land out here. What kind of soil you got in Mississippi? Regular old red clay. Red clay. So this is the one that I wanted you to come and hunt, deer hunt, if you were going to make it in time. Okay. Dude, we had some monster bucks coming up. I'd put corn out right here. As soon as we'd come up in the morning, it'd be about 6.30, 7 o'clock by the time we get here. Deer everywhere. Deer everywhere. Just standing out here eating. What's in the back there? Way back there. Another shed. Another shed. And another shed. This is trashed up all the way back there. This was all trash. This he was all, just throwing his trash Yeah, the they stopped taking stuff to the street. This was all just trash. So, got this house for a pretty good deal. Got a good piece of acreage you can see right here. Brian's made it. What was there before? Was there a little deck there before? He had part of a trailer that you would haul stuff around with, uh -huh. bolted to the back of the house. And Do that you was see his stuff backboard. like that in Mississippi often? Uh, often. <laughs> So he bolted a trailer to his house? He bolted a trailer to his house for his back deck. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Yeah. Not in terrible. I mean, it was sturdy. It I mean, was if you good. want to move your deck, did it have wheels on it? No, he took the wheels off of it. Oh, yeah. Maybe that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. <laughs> All right. So let's go check out this well right here. Do you think this is a new well? I think it's going to be reusable. I'm going to send him out here to uh, go ahead and do the chlorine. Who do we use for our wells? Right now, I've been using that Favre's guy that did uh, Creek Bank. Oh, yeah. Favre. He might be related to Brett Favre. Probably not. We're going to have to rebuild this, probably. So what is this thing right new. here? This is our pump. Somebody's broken that. This is our tank. This is where the water sits. This is our electric right here. Run that just straight to the panel usually. That'll switch on. Water fills up into this tank. What's this? So you can just get water from the outside? Overflow, yeah. Overflow. How much does a tank like this cost? So these units really aren't all that expensive. This will run you about, a, just depending on the size that you want, but between 500 and 1,000, that thing's gonna run you a couple of hundred bucks. The main thing with these, and if you're buying in rural areas, is if this thing's missing, what's gonna cost you money is if they broke the drop pipe that actually goes down into the well. That's where you run into problems. You can see this thing's exposed. It's probably rusted and it's no good. The pressure gauge is it's not looking like it. Yeah, it's already been broken. But the main thing is, you know, this isn't going to set you back as much. This isn't going to set you back as much. These usually won't go bad. They usually get stolen for scrap. This usually gets stolen for scrap. But if they break that drop pipe, that's a whole new well. That's 4000 bucks versus a couple of hundred bucks for each of these. If you're flipping in rural areas, if you're buying in rural areas, and you got to get a well guy out here, well guys usually charge by the foot. When they drill, if they're just replacing stuff that's there, they're just going to charge you parts plus labor. Right. If he's got to drill that thing in there, we've done certainly a number of those. How many wells have we done? We've done about seven or eight. Seven or eight wells. So we have a well guy. So Mike's been our well guy. And now we've got Brett Favre's. Yeah, Mike second. won't drive all the way out here. Yeah, he's well, he's busy all the time. This is a good worker. So, okay, so what's the plan for the outside of this house? Outside is to make it look like everything that worked. So White what? for your main color and then a dark on the trim. Is this a new AC unit? Yes. Brand new AC unit. That's a valuable thing for whoever's buying this house for 0% down because of a USDA loan. Randy's our AC guy. He came up here. Would he come up here for somebody else? Nope. Why'd he come up here for us? Because we've been using it for 10 years. And more importantly, we pay our bills. He's willing to take the drive because he knows he's gonna make money. He hasn't got to get a new customer. He already has one. He's just got to make a further drive. Did you mill this wood? Nah, this is just treated. I don't have a treater. You, you can buy a treater? Yeah, you can buy a pressure treater. How much does that something like that cost? About a quarter million. Woo! For a used tank. 
Okay, so we're in the bathroom. We replacing this tub, Brian? Not replacing the tub, it's not cracked. Nope. Can that be cleaned? That can all be cleaned. Where'd this tile come from? Nice tile comes off of a big 18 wheel load that we bought a long time ago. So we've been using the same tile in multiple houses for- For years. A couple years, because I went a little buck wild and ordered like $16,000 worth of tile. Yep, yep. We plan to flip a lot and just use the same stuff over and over and over. Is it easy if you're using the same material over and over and over again to know how it works? It's easy to get your pattern down. You don't spend a lot of time at the store. You just go grab your tile out of the warehouse and go. That's it. So we'll probably do the same thing again. We'll probably make another big order if we get a discount. Same thing on this one as the last house. It's a nice 4-2, basic floor plans, large closet openings large closets. These are a little bit more expensive than the last fans we put These are in. the exact same fans as the last house. Well, they have a different light. It's just flipped, no, it's just flipped over a blade. Okay. That's the only This difference. is our hugger, right? 52 inch hugger fan. 52 inch hugger, $49. Okay, we got nice doors here. Brian's picking nice doors. He slaps these thing in there. You got a nice closet here. So he's emphasizing, accentuating the positive, giving somebody a lot of closet space in this particular house. Got the same colors. Elaine picked a really good color that he pre-mixed. We gotta use it. It's almost like this. It's a little bit better though, I think. We got our master bathroom right here. Same type of situation. We replacing that tub? Nope, good tub. Good tub. Can we clean it? We can clean it. Clean it, fix it. That's where the vanity goes. I'm sure we'll be buying that vanity from Home Depot. Home Depot special is already at the house. Why do you got a nice fan in this master here? Because we're out in the country, it's a selling point. How much was this fan? 80 bucks. 80 bucks, okay. So the little thing, what kind of doorknobs are you putting on here? These are gonna be basic leather. Brush nickel or? Brush uh, nickel. Brush nickel, okay. Typical fan um, is gonna run you over $100 if you're gonna get a nice fan. Uh, we tend to stick to closeout stuff or stuff that we know we can buy a quantity of them. We know that hugger fan in there. We put that in pretty much every flip for the last 50 flips. So if they raise their price by two bucks, we're still buying it. I think they have raised their price a little bit yeah, on it. It went up from 39. Yeah, it was 39 bucks. It's 49 bucks now. Still makes sense. We used to do a couple of different fans, but fans, you know, they can range. It's all about NFM, right? NFM is how you rate speed on a fan or how you rate how much airflow it does. The NFM rating will tell you how much air this thing's gonna push, which means how much it's gonna cool. Nobody reads the labels anymore, nobody even knows. Nope. So is it pretty? Is it pretty? And do I have a fan? We got a new furnace here. Yep, had to replace it all. So is that important to the buyer? Please, that's the main thing that the buyer wants to see new. Right. In South Mississippi. Why, does it get hot out here? It gets hot and it gets cold twice. <laughs> What does that mean? Global warming, you know what it means. Global warming gets cold twice. So how far are we away from completing this project right here? Uh, we should have this one wrapped up in the next week and a half. Cool. So you had to fix a little bit of this roof line over here? Yes, yeah, Ferrillo come out here and replaced a lot of it. This had broken off. It was leaking through that valley on both sides. So we made some structural repairs to the roof. It replaced so, plywood, replaced the shingles on the front of the house, not the back. What color are those getting painted? Same color as the deck. Gray. Gray, gray, gray. Cool. Charcoal. Is this the old? Uh, That's the old box. Old box for the furnace. What else we got out here? What is this in these Catco? This is uh, new toilets. New toilets. Those will go in the house. So you're pretty much wrapped up. We're gonna get it. Do we figure out that survey situation yet? Elaine's got him scheduled. Elaine's got a scheduled. Now, if we actually pick up 10 acres, does that improve our value of our property? That'd push us over 250. Yeah. So this one's 1,500 square foot. What do you think our price is gonna be when we sell? We're at 35,000 acquisition-ish. What's the total construction budget on this property? 40. 40. So 35 plus 40 is 75. Do you think we'll sell it for over 150? 150. It'd be a minimum take. All right, so at least we're doubling our money. So get in rural areas, learn about USDA financing, and get outside your comfort zone and start investing in real estate. Peace.